hi there students. We are now on the second week of our discussion on grade 10 mathematics quarter 1. So for this uh, video lessons, so binubuo po siya ng apat na part. We'll talk about arithmetic sequence. For our first part, we'll talk about the illustration of arithmetic sequence. So for our lesson objectives, first one, determine whether each sequence is arithmetic or not. And the second one, find the common difference and the next terms of an arithmetic sequence. So, bago tayo mag-proceed sa ating discussion, magkakaroon muna tayo ng short activity. So, ang instruction ng activity, determine whether each given is a sequence or not. So, ikaklassify lang natin yung mga given kung nag-perform ba siya ng sequence or hindi. For example, number 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Number 2, 4, 7, 8, negative 11, 53. Number 3, 1, 2, 5, 19, negative 4. Number 4, 1, negative 3, 9, negative 27, and so on. Number 5, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, and 8. So, dun muna tayo sa number 1. So, as you can see, yung mga terms natin ay puro mga even numbers. So, we skip counting by 2. Okay? So, kung tatanungin tayo kung ano ang kasunod na term ng, uh, ng 10, pwede nating sabihin na, 12. It's because nag skip nga tayo ng counting by 2. Therefore, this is a sequence. Next, number 2, 4, 7, 8, negative 11, and 53. So, walang pattern na nabubuo dyan. It's because, uh, for example, yung first term, 4, and then naging 7 because we add 3. And then, we add 1 to get 8, the third term, and then naging negative 11, and then 53 naman dun sa fifth term. So, hindi siya constant yung pattern niya. So, this is not a sequence. Next, number 3, 1, 2, 5, 19, negative 4. Again, hindi rin consistent yung pattern na nabubuo kasi uh, on the fifth term, naging negative. Okay? So, tapos sa first term, nag-add ka ng 1 para makuha yung second term na 2. And then, mag a ka ng 3 para makuha yung 5. And then, nag-add ka ng 14 para makuha naman yung 4th term na 19. And then, bigla ka nag-subtract ng 23 para makuha ang negative 4. Therefore, this is not a sequence. Next, number 4, 1, negative 3, 9, and negative 27. Now, so kung nakita nyo, makikita nyo, yung ating mga terms ay alternate yung sign. Okay, it doesn't mean na alternate yung sign, hindi na siya sequence. So, titignan nyo pa rin yung term. For example, 1, yung first term natin, anong minultiply para makukuha yung negative 3? Okay, so ang multiply sa first term na 1 para makuha yung negative 3 is negative 3. And then, we multiply negative 3 on the second term which is negative 3 para makukuha yung positive 9. Remember, negative times negative is positive 9. Okay. Next, 9 times negative 3, we will get negative 27. So, if I will ask you to get or to identify the next term after negative 27, what will be the answer? That is 81. By the way, ang given number 4 natin and number 5 natin is infinite yung sequence niya. Okay. So, bakit naging infinite? It's because of the symbol na 3 dots. So, in mathematics, kapag 3 dots yon, ibig sabihin, infinite siya. And ang tawag dun sa term na yon is ellipsis. Okay. So, therefore, this is a sequence. And then, nasabi ko na rin na uh, yung number 5, isa, sang, isa siyang sequence dahil dun sa uh, 3 dots na ginamit natin. Okay. Pero, may mga sequence, syempre, na hindi naman, uh, porke meron tayong 3 dots, agad-agad, sequence na. Okay, let's check kung bakit siya naging sequence. So, ang pattern niya dito is, we add the first two terms. And then, makukuha yung third term. Para makuha naman yung fourth term, i-add natin ng second term, tsaka third term. So, i-apply natin. 1 plus 1, that is 2 which is the third term. Next, 1 plus 2, 
that is 3, the fourth term. Next, 2 plus 3, that is 5, the fifth term. And then on the sixth term, 3 plus 5, that is 8. So, what will be the seventh term? That is 5 plus 8 equals 13. Kaya siya naging sequence. So, ang particular sequence na to ay tinatawag na Fibonacci sequence na i-discuss ko sa inyo sa mga susunod pang mga video. Next, for the first activity, okay, let's have match ticks activity. So, pag sinabi nating match ticks, yung posporo, okay? So, here is the instruction. Below are squares formed by match ticks. Count the number of match ticks for each figure and record the results in the table. So, may mga ipapakita ko sa inyong figure ng square na binuo gamit ang mga posporo, yung palito ng posporo. Ang gagawin lang natin is, bibilangin natin yung uh, bilang ng posporo na ginamit para ma-form yung figure na yon. And then, ire-record natin yung results dun sa table na nasa ibaba. So, ito yung ating mga figure. So, kung makikita nyo, the first figure, ilan na na-form na, na square? One lang. Second, dalawa, and then tatlo, apat. So, paano tayo magbibilang ng match ticks na kinakailangan? Okay. So, ito yung table na sinasabi ko. So, dito na muna tayo sa first square. So, paano natin bibilangin yung match ticks? Of course, dun sa mga sides na ano niya, na na-form niya. So, for example, dito, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, kung ang number of square natin is 1, how many, num how many match ticks are needed? Okay. So, meron tayong 4. Okay. Next, kung dalawa naman, oh, so, kung meron ka ng 4 kanina, ilan pa ang idadagdag mo para ma-form yung uh, next na square? So, kung sagot nyo ay walo, mali kayo. Bakit? Kasi meron na po tayong common side na nasa gitna. Okay. So, ang gagawin lang natin dito is dudugtungan natin ng tatlong match ticks. 5, 6, 7. Okay. So, 7 match ticks ang kailangan para mabuo yung dalang square na pinagdikit. Next. On the third uh, figure naman, so, kung may 7 ka na, na match ticks kasi dalawa yung square na ilan ang match ticks kapag tatlo so ang gagawin lang is magdadagdag ulit ng tatlo so magiging 7 plus 3 that is 10 and then on the fourth figure ganun ulit magdadagdag ka ng tatlong match ticks so 10 plus 3 that is 13 so kahit wala yung panglima 6 hanggang pang 10 pwede nating kunin yung mga number of match sticks. It's because nagdadagdag lang tayo dito ng tatlo. So, 13 plus 3, 16. Plus 3, 19. Plus 3, 22. Plus 3, 25. Plus 3, 28. Plus 3, 31. Okay. So, kung mapapansin nyo, dun sa pinakauna na 4, Nag-add tayo ng 3 para makuha yung 7. Tapos, nag-add ulit ng 3, nakuha ang 10, hanggang makuha yung pinaka-last na 10, which is 31 number of match ticks. Okay. So, itong activity na to, it has something to do with our lesson, which is arithmetic sequence. So, so after we discuss the activity, which is match ticks activity, so we will discuss now what is the definition of arithmetic sequence. When we say arithmetic sequence, it is a type of sequence where every term is obtained by adding a constant number called the common difference. So kung matatandaan nyo kanina, yung bilang ng uh, match ticks na kailangan para mabuo yung isang square is apat. And then, nag-add tayo ng tatlo para makuha yung pangalawang figure. So, na 7. And then, nag-add ulit tayo ng tatlo para makuha yung pangatlo na 10. So, yung in natin na number na yon constant siya. Ibig sabihin ng constant, hindi nagbabago. So, ang tawag dun sa, sa number na yon 
is common difference. So, kapag arithmetic sequence na ang pinag-uusapan natin, kailangan yung ina-add na number of, uh, na every term, kailangan constant, hindi nagbabago. Pag nag-add ka ng 3, dapat puro 3. Hindi pwedeng nag-add ka ng 3 and then mag-add ka ng 2, mag-add ka ng 5. Hindi yun arithmetic sequence. Constant, ibig sabihin, hindi nagbabago. So, ang tawag ulit nun is common difference. So, para mas maintindihan nyo kung ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng arithmetic sequence at yung common difference na sinabi ko kanina na constant number, let's have an activity. Determine whether each of the following is an arithmetic sequence or not. If the sequence is an arithmetic sequence, give the common difference and the next term. Okay. So, kanina, in-identify natin kung sequence ba yung given or not. So, dito naman, magiging particular tayo. So, i-identify natin kung arithmetic sequence ba siya o hindi. Again, paano natin malalaman kung arithmetic sequence sequence yung isang given na sequence? Kailangan common difference nila ay pare-pareho. Kaya nga common kasi pareho. And then, i-identify din natin yung next term niya. Okay, so once na na-identify natin yung common difference niya, it would be easy for us to identify the next term. So for example, number 1, we have 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. So, as you can see, yung ating sequence ay increasing. Pataas. Okay. So, again, to remind you, kapag ang common difference natin is increasing, it means positive siya. Kapag naman decreasing, of course, it's negative. So, in this case, i-identify muna natin kung arithmetic sequence ba siya o hindi by identifying the common difference. Kung common nga ba. Okay, for example, number 1. What will be added to 2 to get 5? That is 3. Okay. Next, what will be added to 5 to get 8? We also add 3. Next, to get 11, we also add 3. So, makikita nyo, meron tayong mga pare-parehong number na ina-add. So, hindi natin masasabi na arithmetic siya kasi meron pa tayong last na term. So, let's add 11. Anong i-add sa 11 para maging 14? Again, 3. So, as you can see, yung difference niya is common. So, masasabi natin na arithmetic sequence to. This is an arithmetic sequence because it has common difference which is so, dinedenote natin yung common difference as D. Okay, so the common difference is 3. Okay. So, for our example number 2, 18, 14, 10, 6, 2. So, kung mapapansin nyo yung ating sequence ay decreasing. So, tignan natin kung arithmetic sequence ba siya o hindi. Okay. So, ano ang imaminos sa 18 para makuha ang 14? E di 4, para makuha ang 10, ano ang minus sa 14? Ganun din, negative 4. Sa 10, ano ang minus para makuha yung 6? Negative 4. Sa 6, ano ang minus para makuha yung 2? Negative 4. As you can see, yung common difference niya is constant, hindi nagbabago. Lahat, negative 4. Therefore, this is also an arithmetic sequence. Why? Because the common difference is negative 4. Next, example number 3. 2, 6, 18, 54, and so on. So, this is an infinite sequence. Okay? Let's check kung arithmetic sequence ba siya o hindi. So, ano ang i-add sa 2 para makuha ang 6? So, plus 4. E para makuha ang 18, ano ang ina-add sa 6? 12. Okay. E sa 18, ano ang i-add para makuha ang 54? We add 36. As you can see, yung mga number na ina-add natin para makuha yung mga susunod na terms ay hindi constant. Therefore, this is not an arithmetic sequence. Okay, shortcut ko na lang ha. This is not an arithmetic sequence. Kasi, binayolate niya yung rule ng arithmetic sequence na dapat constant 
yung difference kada term. Okay? So, itong particular sequence na to, hindi man siya arithmetic sequence, meron siyang uri talaga na sequence na i-discuss ko sa susunod ko pang mga video. So, let's have example number 4. Negative 7, negative 2, 3, 8, 13. So, as you can see, yung first two terms natin, parehong negative. And then, on the third, fourth, and fifth, parehong positive. So, check natin kung arithmetic sequence ba siya o hindi. So, what will be added to negative 7 to get negative 2? So, of course, we need to add 5. To get 3, in the third term, we have to add 5 sa negative 2. And then, what will be added to 3 to get 8? We also need to add 5. And then, to get 13, we need to add 5. Constant ba yung difference nila? Of course, pare-parehong 5. Therefore, this is an arithmetic sequence. Okay. Because the common difference is 5. So, for example, number 5, 1, 3, 6, 10, 15. Okay. So, again, check natin kung arithmetic sequence siya or not. By identifying the common difference. So, what must be added to 1 to get 3? That is 2. What must be added to 3 to get 6? So, we add 3. To get 10, we have to add 4. To get 15, we have to add 5. As you can see, yung ating ina-add for every term ay increasing. However, hindi siya constant. So, ang kailangan kasi natin is constant yung number na ina-add for every term. So, kahit na sequence to, we can never classify it as arithmetic sequence. Okay. So, this is not an arithmetic sequence. Simply because hindi constant yung difference. Example number 6. 2, negative 7, negative 16, negative 25, and so on. This is a sequence. It's because of the ellipsis. Okay. Now, as you can see, yung ating mga terms ay pababa, decreasing. So, let's check yung difference nila kung constant. So, what must be subtracted? O oh, yan, ha? subtracted. Para makuha yung susunod na term. Pwede rin namang added. Kaya lang, ang i-add mo, negative. Ima-minus mo, pareho lang din yun. Okay, so what must be added to 2 to get negative 7? So we need to add or we need to add negative 9. So what if kung sinabi nyo lang negative 9? Considered naman yun. Okay, so since decreasing naman kasi yung mga terms natin. Next, what must be added to negative 7 to get negative 16? That is negative 9 also. To get negative 25, we need to add negative 9. Is the difference common? Yes. What is the common difference? That is negative 9. Therefore, this is an arithmetic sequence. Oh, because of the difference, a common difference, negative 9. Next, example number 7. Negative 2. 4, negative 8, 16, negative 32. Ano ang una nyo napansin? Bukod dun sa even numbers sila, yung kanilang mga sign. Alternate. Negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Okay. So, let's check kung may common difference ba sila. So, what must be added to negative 2 to get 4? So, we need to add 6. And then, what must be added to 4 to get negative 8? So, we need to add negative 12. To get 16, what must be added to negative 8? We have to add 24. And then, to get negative 32, we need to add negative 48. Is the difference constant or not? Not. Okay, so kasi... Nag-add ka ng 6. 
tapos nag-add ka ng negative 12, nag-add ka ng 24, tapos nag-add ka na naman ng negative 48, di ba? Hindi constant yung difference. This is not an arithmetic sequence. Let's have example number 8. 10, 3, negative 4, negative 11, negative 18. So, ang una natin gagawin, of course, again, to check the difference, if common or not. So, what must be added to 10 to get 3? So, we need to add negative 7. To get negative 4, we need to add negative 7 to 3. And then, to get negative 11, we need to add negative 7 also. Finally, to get negative 18, we need to add negative 7. Is the difference common? Yes. So, constant po kasi yung ina-add for every term na negative 7. So, this is an arithmetic sequence because of the common difference, negative 7. Okay. So, whenever na sinusulat natin yung common difference, for example, yan, nag-add ka ng negative 7, make sure ine-enclose natin yung negative na common difference sa parenthesis. Hindi kasi pwede magiging parang plus minus. Okay. So, walang ganun sa math. So, for the next lesson, we'll have determining arithmetic means. Okay. So, ma maganda na na-explain ko sa inyo, na-illustrate ko sa inyo kung kailan magiging arithmetic sequence ang isang given sequence. Tandaan, para magiging arithmetic sequence ang given, kailangan meron siyang common difference. Dapat yung number na ina-add for every term ay constant, hindi nagbabago. Okay? So, sana may natutunan kayo dito sa video. So, huwag kakalimutan na uh, mag-subscribe and mag-like and then i-share na rin itong video na to para marami ang Matuto. Maraming salamat.